I'm Callan Hallman. Here's what we're following on this Friday. Breaking this morning, the U.S. Supreme Court announcing its decision to overturn Roe v. Wade, essentially eradicating the right to an abortion at the federal level. Now, of course, that means abortion access will now vary state by state. That announcement coming in just moments ago, so we'll have more in-depth coverage coming on our website, our social platforms, and in all of our newscasts throughout today. Turning now to the Thunder Fire, still burning southeast of Interstate 5 and Edmonston Pumping Plant Road. According to Kern County Fire, at last check, the fire has burned more than 2,400 acres and is 65% contained. Over 300 personnel on scene fighting the blaze. The cause is still unknown. The power is still out this morning in Arvin. 23 ABC confirming with PG&E lightning struck a substation near Arvin Wednesday night, the resulting outage impacting about 6,000 customers. PG&E's Katie Allen says they acted quickly, restoring power to a couple thousand customers by yesterday afternoon. Now, restoration efforts continue for the remaining 3,300 customers. A cooling center opened in Arvin City Hall's council chambers to help those beat the heat. Thanks to the city's generator, that cooling center will be open 24-7 with capacity for about 80 people. Local officials, along with the Community Action Partnership of Kern, handed out food to residents in need at the local Veterans Hall. PG&E told 23BC yesterday they anticipate power to be restored by noon today, but their website says the estimated restoration time is still to be determined. Well, it is very hot out there. Hope everyone's staying cool. This is a look at your forecast heading into today. We're expecting our first heat wave of the year this weekend. So we're in those triple digits today all the way through going into next week. Couldn't see a break until possibly Thursday, dipping into those upper 90s. So warm either way because see a slight decrease from those hundreds. As for our mountain communities, we're in those mid to upper 80s and 90s today through Sunday. Seeing even more of a rise going into Monday, seeing hundreds on Monday for Lake Isabella and those 90s for Tatchby and Fraser Park. Going to the rest of this week, those temperatures slowly drop a little bit. Definitely still warm, but by Wednesday, Thursday, we're getting more into those mid to lower 80s and 90s. That's a look at some of the stories we're following this morning. Like we said, we'll continue to bring you coverage of this decision from the Supreme Court as we learn more throughout the morning.